I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. I think that's what I always try to do, whether we accomplish that or not remains to be seen, um, on binding a mesh object to a armature uh, when you are using a developer kit. This is a question that I see a whole lot where people just aren't sure how to get accurate weights from the body into their garment. So they'll end up manually weight painting or doing a lot of additional work while missing the much easier way of doing it, which is to have Avastar copy the weights for you. Blender does also have its own built-in weight paint, like copying, but I find that the weight painting from Avastar it's just easier to use and tends to work better and then it's 100% compatible with Avastar because it's all done in Avastar. So this is actually a super super simple process uh, at its base and then to refine it and perfect it does take a little bit more work but the very basic procedure is just a handful of clicks. So the first thing that you need to do is have a mesh object that you want to bind to the armature. Uh, down here in the bottom corner, you'll uh, always, if I have them turned on, see my screencast keys, which will show you what I'm clicking, so I don't have to tell you every keystroke. <laughs> um, so you'll just need to have your mesh that you're wanting to bind. You will need to have the body that you're wanting to bind it to and the armature that the body came with. Uh, this is actually a top that I made previously and I went ahead and just deleted the weights from this shirt for the purposes of the tutorial rather than making a new mesh just to demonstrate. So the very first thing that we want to do is going to be to open what we call the end panel. That is by pressing the end key on your keyboard. That's why we call it the end panel. Or there's a little teeny weeny little arrow up here at the top uh, by the camera widget and you can just click that and drag it or you can just click it. So once that pops open, uh, if you need to, you can click on the side and resize it. Um, but we are just going to look for Avastar. It may be down in the list if you have a whole bunch of add-ons or if you only have Avastar installed, then it's just going to be that and a couple other things. So first we're going to click on our mesh. Then we will control click on the armature that the body we're using is attached to. So body, armature. So we're going to click our mesh, control click on the armature. So now both items are selected. Then over here in the Avastar pane, we're going to open the binding and skinning tab. And we will see there are a few options here under where it says method. Preserve weights is going to keep any weights that you already have on the item, not make any changes to them. Create empty groups will create empty bone groups that don't have any weights assigned to them. They're just completely empty with the names of the bones. It's for manually painting. There's also automatic from bones where it will generate new weights based on where your mesh is in relation to the bones of the armature. None of these are what we want to use to make an item that fits well to a body developer kit. What we need is the option that says copy from meshes. That is going to copy the weights from the eBody Reborn body into our garment so that our garment matches perfectly or close to perfectly to the body itself. This can also be used if you are creating add-ons for the body. Um, or accessories or anything like that. If you need it to fit to the body, you want to copy the weights from the body. Don't try to manually paint this. That is the way to madness. Avastar will copy them for you. So what we need to do is find just our body here and we have a bunch of extraneous meshes here because eBody Reborn comes with all of the feet as separate meshes. So we're just gonna hide all of those. Then we will click the check mark next to the body that we are copying from. We want to leave pretty much all of these options as they are, but you can uncheck smooth weights because we're going to do that ourselves in just a minute. So clear target maps is going to delete any existing weight painted weight groups that you have on the mesh uh, and keep empty maps would just leave any empty groups you have already assigned to it that don't have any weights in them. 
So we do want to clear target maps so that if we had weights from another body developer kit already in our mesh, it's going to delete those and not cause an issue. So then we just click bind to armature. Avastar is going to do a little thing and what we should see down here is just a successful message that it has copied weights from X number of verts to our mesh. Okay. Then we'll just close the end panel. And now when we click on our mesh and we go over to the weight paint mode, we will see that it now has a whole bunch of weight groups which match the body. Nice. We will notice that some of these groups are a little bit crunchy. Um, apart from the breast area, for most garments that are close to the body, all you need to do from this point is go up here to the weights menu smooth and apply maybe two or three iterations of smoothing to all groups. That's it. Um, that didn't do anything because I had vertex mode, select mode turned on, so we'll just try that again. Okay, so we're going to smooth all groups, factor of 0.5, two iterations. Now when we look at our weights, we will notice that they are no longer super crunchy on the sides. Okay. We can test our weight painting in a few different ways. One is going to be to select the armature. We want to uncheck this little lock icon up here so that it's gray and that will let us put the armature in pose mode while our mesh stays in weight paint mode. Now we can click on one of the bones and pose the bone and see how the garment moves with the body or doesn't. And as you can see, for areas that are close to the body itself, just the weight transfer alone is sufficient. In general, when I'm making clothes, the only time that I need to make significant changes to the copied weights, it's going to be this area between the breasts or if a garment is baggy or far away from the body. The further away it is from the body, the more you will need to smooth the weight group so that it doesn't bend in strange ways. And between the breasts, um, because of all of the competing influences in this area, um, it needs a ton of smoothing in order to keep it from getting crunchy in the middle. And there's actually a video by another creator, Sidian Monroe, that I recommend and can link to uh, that covers that how to handle that very very well and that's where I learned how to do it. Apart from that, that's it. You're done. If you um, get a weird message when you go to export your mesh that says you need to limit your weight groups to four, um, Avastar will do that for you on export every time you export it, but if you'd like the message to go away or you would like to have control over how those weight groups are limited, you would just go up here to weights, limit total, and you can see here it says 565 vertex weights were limited, and that's just because Second Life has a limit of four bone influences per vertex. That's it. At this point, our garment is technically rigged to the body unless I want to make changes to make the white painting look smoother in some areas, like between the breasts, it's done. That's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to answer them. Or you can join us in our Discord server, Eden and Iggy's, which I will also link to below, where we are very happy to answer questions and where tutorials are posted before they are ever posted to the public. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.